What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video and the start of hopefully a new series that you guys really enjoy and that is Undisputed Universe. Obviously we don't, we tried the event mode of Undisputed 3, you guys seem to enjoy that and I thought let's do a proper universe. So I'm just going to give you guys the rundown really quick before we jump into this episode. I'm not going to do this every episode, just going to give you the rundown as this is the first episode. I'll probably be doing this every 14 to 18 days, so maybe twice a month because this has taken a lot. I've done a top 10 of every single weight class including a challenge champion and I will be showing you guys the rankings throughout the uh, event so you know say a, a middleweight fight's coming up I'll be like let's have a look at the rankings and there's actually a rankings that I've created and they will move up and down as they go I have put some different fighters that you maybe wouldn't expect in certain weight classes as well as you know fighters that maybe never broke top five in their career are now top two in their respective weight classes to make things more interesting instead of having just the top fighters always fighting I want to make it interesting for you guys maybe have some big upsets you know and so on and so forth. so I've kept the champions to who the champions were at when this game released which was Cruz Aldo so I've got it written down Frankie Edgar GSP Anson Silver John Jones and Junior Dos Santos they may change hands like I said I will be keeping track and it's up to you guys if you guys think you know there's a title there's a fight that needs to happen let me know in the comments down below and we can put the rankings together and, and make the fights together you guys I want you guys to be really involved with this series I obviously won't be playing, I'll just be the commentary team. Um, they won't always be a title fight. I'm not going to have every event as a big title fight. Sometimes they'll just be a good five rounder, sometimes an interim title fight, sometimes they'll be a title fight, but not always. Of course, I'll start off a title fight this episode, um, and yeah, but they're not always going to be one because that becomes a bit bland then. So yeah, like I said, you may not agree with the current rankings. They are subject to change. If you have a fighter that's maybe a fighter you like and he's only ninth ranked, it's up to him to make it right and go up and work his way up and win. So without further ado, guys, let's get into our first ever Undisputed Universe episode. I'm excited. Let's get into it. Right, guys, our first fight of the event. Of course, there will only be three fights per event just because I don't want the videos to go too long. But our first fight is Dan Hardy versus BJ Penn in the welterweight division if we have a look at the rankings here we can see that bj penn is ranked number three and dan hardy is ranked number six so this could be a big win for dan hardy and if bj penn wins this he'll probably go up to top two it's a good way to start the universe it's a good way to f for these welterweights to find their foot and for bj penn to see how he gets on in the welterweight division if he goes on a losing streak he may drop down back to lightweight but we'll have to see but let's get into it on, all right boys here we are first round of our first undisputed universe episode in the welterweight division dan hardy bj penn big shots by dan hardy already this is this is a big fight because whoever wins this may go it may dan hardy may break into the top three bj may break into a title shot next up in the welterweight division we'll have to see good break from dan hardy there of course bj penn is without a doubt the favorite i mean he is landing some heavy shots early in this fight in the opening minute he is landing the big heavy shots here Close up straight. Good slip, but good defense by Dan Hardy. BJ Penn already with a nice counter uppercut. Finding his footing in this weight class already. Doesn't seem to be too uncomfortable, really, in this world weight division. Dan Hardy is, is you know, he's no joke, but he's definitely not one of the top world weights. And this is his opportunity to break into that top three here, which I don't... I At the minute, seems that BJ Penn is, is far too good for someone of Dan Hardy's level. Good side control into the half guard position. Tried to posture up. Tried to go into the top mount, sorry, but got put into the full guard. He may try and go for the submission, but Dan Hardy reversed into side control with some big elbows. He's actually hurt BJ Penn here. If he rains down these strikes, he may get a huge upset victory, but BJ is able to recover relatively quickly. BJ is in a really bad situation here, trying to get into the rubber guard. Reversed into side control away from the cage as well. Another big shot. A few big elbows and forearms there. Dan Hardy's just got to rain down these strikes and that could be it. But BJ Penn yet again survives somehow. By the grace of God, BJ Penn is staying in this. This was looking like BJ Penn's fight, but now it is not. Into the top, into the full guard, but Dan Hardy just holding him there. And nice reversal. What is happening to BJ Penn here? He is looking at a shell of himself already on the ground. Dan Hardy is bullying BJ Penn on the ground. He gets him in the Kimura from the bottom. Looks like Dan Hardy will get out of this, though, with relative ease. Not too much struggle. Into the side control. Dan Hardy has done some of his best work as side control in this fight. Gets him into a triangle choke. Is he going to be able to lock this up? BJ Penn has really impressive chokes. Dan Hardy looks like he is struggling here. And I think that is going to be it. 
And Dan Hardy has been forced to tap in the first round. It looked like it was going to go Dan Hardy's way. BJ Penn had the, the strength on the feet. Dan Hardy had the strength on the ground. But BJ Penn locks in the triangle choke. And gets a finish in our first ever Undisputed Universe episode. Let's have a look at those rankings again. And let me know what you guys think BJ Penn should go up to. Should he just stay where he is? Or do you think he should go up to the top two or maybe even number one ranked? I don't think a Dan Hardy victory means too much for a top three fighter. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and, and what you think of the rankings. After a pretty impressive first fight, it's time for our co-main event in the light heavyweight division between Rich Franklin and Chuck Liddell. If we have a look at the light heavyweight rankings, we can see number three Chuck Liddell is risking it here by taking on number 10 ranked Rich Franklin. If, if Franklin pulls this off, this will be a serious jump up into maybe interim title contention or even title contention itself. Chuck Liddell just want to stay active here, but if he loses this, this is a big loss for him to take. They'll maybe push him down into that bottom three of the top ten. An exciting fight for the co-main event. Let's get into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the co-main event of our first ever Undisputed Universe series. Of course, I did do the event mode before on the channel, but this is now the proper start of the series. Perfect slip and counter. Rich Franklin has a very low stance when he boxes. Very low, very crouched over. Makes it hard to hit him in the body. He's very crouched. Whereas Chuck Liddell is extremely, extremely high. He stood up straight. Body is very open for perhaps that, that lead kick or even the back kick to the body. But both very good strikers. Nice combination by Rich Franklin there. Rich Franklin's mixing it up lovely with the with the head and the body, with the punches and the kicks. Very, very impressive so far. Tries to go for the takedown, but gets teeped on his way. And he's been dropped by Chuck Liddell's incredible power. He's trying to get him up, but no luck. Nasty shots. We know that Chuck Liddell's got big power in his hands, and he just keeps getting reversed into side control. This is not where Rich Franklin wants to be here, in the half guard position, trying to reverse it. Again, reversed into the side control position. Chuck is hammering big shots. Franklin is hurt here on the ground. Knees to the body, but he's able to recover. His best bet would be to stand up, and he's been put into top mount, into half guard. able to reverse it. Back into full guard. Is he going to be able to get up? No, back into side control. Franklin just needs to stay alive at this point. That needs to be his only goal here. Up against the cage, this might be his best opportunity for a get up without getting reversed into a side control position. Looks like they've got the double unders up against the cage. This is not where Franklin wants to be either. He needs to get back to kickboxing range against someone as dangerous as Chuck Liddell, especially on the ground. Chuck's power is freaky. He's, I mean, this is not a position Rich Franklin wants to be in either. Not with Chuck's incredible power. Minute left. Big shots being thrown by both men, but Chucks are far more dangerous at this point of the fight. And he, oh, he's able to recover and get in the clinch. Yet again, not a position Rich Franklin wants to be in. This is not looking good for Rich Franklin. He's able to break. He just needs to try and recover here, but I think he's going to risk it. And he's probably going to throw something crazy and get caught. This is a very intense last few seconds. The fight could, the fight could have ended at any second there. But they go into the second round. Impressive performance by Chuck Liddell. Showing why he's that top five. If Rich Franklin wants wants the hope of getting into the title contention, he needs to he needs to seriously do something here in this second round. Because he's looking like he doesn't even belong with these top five right now. He's not looking good in this situation. He needs to come out in this second round. Not get hit with March. Use that kickboxing. And, I don't know, maybe wrestle Chuck. I don't know what his game plan would be here at this point. Let's get it on. Second round. Nasty shot right off the bounce. The lead hook. Trying to clinch with Chuck. Gets caught again. He's moving okay, but he's not throwing back here. He is definitely afraid of Chuck's power at this point, which I'm not surprised. Those are heavy shots that Chuck is plastering his way. And he's been caught again. And he's down. The fight may very well be over at this point. It is over. A Chuck Liddell finish. Very impressive. 
No surprise. I'm unfortunate for Rich Franklin. Maybe he was caught on an off day. But we'll have to see. If we have another look at the Rankins quickly. Once we've seen the knockout replay, I'll show you guys the Rankins. And you'll have to let me know what you think. Where did each fighter go? Do they stay where they are? As this was a number 10 versus number 3 rank situation. Does not much happen. Chuck may be in line for a title shot at some point. But we will have to see. But let's have a look at the Rankins again quickly here. Does Rich Franklin fall out of that top 10 or does he just stay in the top 10? Maybe get a shot against the number 9 or number 8 ranked fighter. We'll have to see. Now to finish off our first Undisputed Universe episode, we have got a title shot in the featherweight division. If we have a look at the rankings here, you can see the current champion is Jose Aldo. And he is fighting number 2 ranked Cub Swanson in the main event of this episode. Of this uh, Undisputed Universe event. Sorry. It's a big fight. If Cub can pull this off. This would be a massive upset. He's number two ranked. This is going to be one that's really going to change the rankings up. If whoever loses is going to move somewhere. Go up or go down. Uh, and yeah. We're going to have to see how it goes. I'm excited for this one. Let's get into it. Here it is boys. The first total fight of the Undisputed Universe. Jose Aldo. Cub Swanson for the featherweight strap. An exciting matchup. Aldo is an incredible, incredible striker. Cub Swanson's no slouch, but if I was Cub, I'd probably want to get it to the ground at this point. A brilliantly timed takedown, as I said that, but stuffed by Aldo. Aldo's takedown defense is no joke, but I've got a feeling the Cub's going to be shooting for these takedowns a lot throughout this fight. And Aldo, if, he, if he's not careful, he will get taken down. Gets caught. Aldo's power is, is insane in this division. His accuracy, his time, and the precision that he throws at is, is insane. Cub Swanson's got very good accuracy and knowledge of his reach. Brilliant there. Not reversing the side control, which is interesting. There we go. Reversing the side control position. Nice elbow to the body. Back into full guard position. I mean, Cub needs to be careful here. Aldo's one's going to be able to push him off, and two, he's going to be able to lock in a submission if he wants. Brilliant three punch combination as he gets up. Spin and body kick block. Oh, the perfect, perfect slip and uppercut counter there by Jose Aldo. Aldo's landing those uppercuts with brilliant success tonight. He really is. Oh, and he's dropped with a perfect straight after Cub Swanson misses that spin and back fist. Cub really hadn't missed much until that point, and then he gets dropped by it. That's an unfortunate timing, and he's down. Aldo could end this as early as the first round if he wants to. I don't know how Cub Swanson survived that, but it is not looking good for Cub Swanson. Stuffed, back into the full guard, reverse into side control, not really wants to be back into half guard, into full guard again, tries to push him off, reverse back into side control. The side control has just been there all night for people. People are really finding that opening, and this could be it for Cub Swanson. It's all over. First round TKO domination for Jose Aldo. Absolutely sensational performance there. Aldo stays the champion. Cub Swanson possibly not a number two anymore. There's no shame in losing to the champ. But that was tough. That was tough. Just, he couldn't take much more punishment. If we have a look at the rankings here real quick for the featherweight division. We'll have to see where Cub Swanson goes. As of right now, I have no real thoughts on that. We just have to see as and when that breaks out, really. We'll have to see what the UFC decides. Rosenthal has called a stop to this contest at four minutes of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO. And still... The UFC featherweight champion of the world, Jose Junior Aldo. Well, a very fun first Undisputed Universe event. I really enjoyed putting this together. The rankings thing took me ages. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you drop a like, please. The support would be really appreciated. 
And yeah, I had a lot of fun. Of course, like I said, as the rankings go, I'll be changing them, moving them around. I'll add green and red arrows, so if you miss an episode, you'll know where people have moved to. And yeah, I've got a second event in mind already for the fights I want to make. And yeah, man. Well, and like I said, I'm, I'm doing three fights per video because I thought that if they all go the distance, you are then looking at like a good 50 minute video. This one's going to be really short because they're all finishes. But a good event, and I cannot complain about the success of that event. All right, guys, and the bonus checks go to BJ Penn and Dan Hardy for their fight of the night and their submission of the night, but no winner for knockout of the night because they were both TKO victories. I would have to give, if we do do knockout of the night, I would have to give that to Chuck Liddell. Even though it was a TKO, it was a far more impressive stoppage than the Aldo one. He battered Rich Franklin from pillar to post. And still... Your featherweight champion, Jose Aldo. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, drop a like, subscribe down below for more. Uh, this was fun to put together, and I look forward to seeing you guys' um, reactions to the video and you know all the rankings that I've got going and stuff like that. Of course, I've got rankings for every weight class, but I've only shown you guys the rankings for three weight classes in this video. Next one, you'll see three new weight classes, and then we'll mix it up after that. Uh, yeah, I just didn't want to show you guys all the rankings in one go. I thought it'd be fun to you know save the suspense. Um, for next time. But thank you as always for watching. Drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.